even know what day it is again. December 7th? December 7th, I think. Uh, I'm looking for something that I need to take downstairs with me. But it's not here. Where is it? Ah! Sorry of my life. Okay, found it. We're editing. So, uh, I am just about to start my work day. And today is going to be all about packing all the orders and getting to the post office first because today is actually cutoff day <clears throat> sorry for the international shipments for them to arrive in their countries um on time so that's what i'll be doing first and yeah um i'm feeling a little bit tired like i slept for 10 hours but um i think i just worked too much and I'm sure many of you can relate to this if you're running your own business and you get sick, that it's really, really hard to just take it slow. And usually I'm a lot better at that. But this time, I don't know, I actually felt okay. Like I felt okay working as much as I did. And I think that sort of tricked me into thinking that I was fine again. And I probably shouldn't have done that. So yeah, let this be a reminder to me and maybe also to you because this is the season of getting sick, right? There's so much to do and then it gets cold and we're always going outside in the cold and then coming inside where it's warm again. And yeah, that just makes my body a bit more susceptible to getting sick. part of my work that's done those are all orders packed uh, and a few more thingies here and a few more bags here and now I'm gonna continue packing yay oh and this is Ellie from Skate Your Nuts hi. hi guys so it's almost 1 p.m. now I just finished packing up all my orders from the project pack shop uh, they are ready to go, but now I still need to pack this week's shipment uh, making stories books because I'm in charge of all the individual shipments uh, And there's a problem because I'm hungry and I don't Really I don't have food. Well, I do have food, but I don't want to resort to carbs because I don't want to eat carbs right now. I want to save all my carbs for fucking amazing Christmas cookies so I'm going to eat a little bit of emergency cheese that I'm going to start packing and once I'm done with the post office run then I'm going to get some food from the supermarket. Yay! So lovelies, I am done with the packing and I'm going to make my way to the post office very very shortly. Um, but I actually wanted to talk about something that um, has to do with a podcast that I watched. Uh, so usually when I sew and um, pack up orders and things like that, it's my time to catch up with podcasts. And um, I watched the latest Sockmatician podcast episode. Uh, I started yesterday night and I continued finishing it um, today. 
And if you don't know the Sock Magician podcast, it's uh, Nathan's podcast. Nathan is the Sock Magician, um, awesome teacher uh, who focuses a lot on double knitting, if I'm not mistaken. And um, although I've never met him in person, uh, I actually sort of like saw him uh, in Nottingham. Okay, this is going to sound really creepy. Doesn't matter. He seems to be a really, really cool guy. And I very much enjoyed his podcast um, episodes ever since. Uh, but... Mm, this or not but and <laughs> this episode his most recent episode is really really good and really interesting and you should go watch it um i learned a lot while watching it basically um nathan talks a lot about hiv and dispels a lot of the myths i think that are still in a, little, in a lot of our heads and I'm not really sure how it is where you are but I feel like in Germany um, we are educated about HIV. I remember when I was when I was a teenager um, and sort of around the time that um, that sort of like I was becoming sexually active um, there was a lot of campaigns like really really cool poster campaigns mainly by the German government about using condoms to protect yourself from uh, contracting HIV. And we also talked about it in sexual education and um, in school and things like that. But ever since then, I feel it's been a non-issue other than whenever I would enter a new relationship um, it would become a topic of sort of like being tested and the partner being tested and everything being in order and also sort of like but more related to contraception and also other diseases and sexual diseases and um, the I don't think I've consciously researched anything about HIV in the last 15 years or something, I think. Um, I knew sort of, but sort of like the way that you know when you read about something in the newspaper or online, so I knew that treatment had advanced quite a lot and that it was actually, that it is actually entirely possible to live a very, like a normal healthy life with HIV, that it is a health condition it's not the death sentence that it was in the 80s and 90s um but i didn't know a lot about a lot of the details i think part of that is because i am part of a very homogeneously heterosexual community um i i do have gay friends but i don't think it's something that we ever talk about in in sort of like my circle of friends or anything, I basically don't have any touch points. So all that to say that I found Nathan's episode incredibly valuable because it taught me a lot. Like it taught me a lot. Like, for example, did you know that when you contract the virus today, um, you, at, you get the proper medication you can get your viral load, so the amount of virus that is in your blood, down to an undetectable level. That means that it is not detectable at all. And what that means is for the person who is living with HIV is that they're never going to get sick, ever. Isn't that amazing? And the second thing, and I, that blew my mind, is that it means if it's undetectable, it's untransmittable. That person can never pass that virus. Like as long as the viral load is undetectable, it can't pass it on to another person. This is, it really, it seriously blew my mind. And I can only really, really highly recommend watching the episode because I, I find the way that he talks about it so educational, so, so valuable for everyone. Like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if you have a personal touch point with this or not. I, well, I think we should all know about all of this, but it was just really, really good. I stopped gushing about it now. Go watch the latest Sock Magician podcast episode. I'm, I'm gonna go to the post office.
So I just prepared the balcony for winter. We were still waiting for a little, for enough dry spell to sort of like cover everything, and then I planted a few new thingies like these. Yay! It's nice. All ready to go. friends just super super quickly because my phone actually already told me that I need to stop using the screen if I want to have an hour of screen free time before bedtime uh, but I got a few hours two to three hours of knitting done and Netflixing and eating some dinner and that was really really nice after a long work day and tomorrow I have an early start because we're gonna go volunteering for making stories so that's gonna be exciting um, and let's see if I can take you with me oops okay totally dropped my phone now I'm like finally I get the hang of this right and then I dropped my phone okay off to bed now